The New York battle scene in the Avengers is such a well-known sequence that we thought it would be interesting to take a look at it without all the processing, to really get an idea of what all those stunts, shots and superhero jumps actually look like. And at the end of this video we'll be showing you how you can create your own 3D Hulk video game for absolutely free without any prior knowledge of computer programming so that you can play as the Hulk without even having to get angry. I'm always angry. Yes, we know. The original design for the Leviathan and the Aliens came from the Marvel Art Department, and both had purple lights and gold armour to give them a connection to their home planet. However, Industrial Light and Magic had to add battle damage, patina, and weathering to the armour because they found that in some shots, the gold colour was just too vibrant. High resolution digi doubles were created for every character by using light stage and MOVA captures. These high res digi doubles had to be able to hold up in closer shots to allow them to achieve more dynamic transitions from plate photography to full CGI. This continuous shot of the Avengers working together combined plate photography shot on indoor sets. With a full CG environment created from LiDAR scans of a real viaduct set they built in New Mexico. Extremely precise and meticulous pre-visualization work from the third floor was required to be able to choreograph the live action plates with the full CG plates. The real viaduct set was 90 meters long, lined with 12 meter high green screens and dressed with overturned damaged cars and debris. A combination of a full CG environment, digital characters driven by motion capture performances and live action plates were required for the Thor and Hulk sequence. Not only was Hulk's performance driven by mocap and facial camera data from Mark Ruffalo, but every part of the Hulk's anatomy was also based on Mark Ruffalo from the grey hairs to the pores on his skin. Industrial Light and Magic had to digitally reproduce the city of New York with all its relevant streets and buildings, but with one little exception, Stark Tower. They did this by shooting nearly 2,000 tiled spheres of different areas of New York and then using those images to create a digital version, removing the MetLife building and replacing it with the Stark Tower.
Now, if you're interested in making a Hulk video game for absolutely free with no prior knowledge of computer programming, like me, then let me introduce you to game developer Rexel Carriaga on Skillshare, who not only ran me through the basics of how to use Unity 3D to make this video game, but also how to make the entire game from scratch, while using completely free and downloadable software. All thanks to Skillshare, and if you're one of the first 1,000 people to click the link in our video description, then you'll get a one-month free trial of Skillshare, with access to thousands of tutorials and courses that cover pretty much anything you could want to learn. Whether it's exploring new interests or learning new skills to further aid your profession, for example, like learning the very program I'm using to edit this video, or this thumbnail, Get rid of that. You go there. Yeah. Skillshare has the content to help you get there. So, be one of the first 1,000 people to click the link in our video description and get your one month free trial of Skillshare today. I fully recommend it, you won't be disappointed.